AI's dynamic content page allows you to run real-time shader code to create interactive graphics, real-time text and resolution independent visuals. So let's have a quick look at the page. So the page itself is accessed from the AI button, it's in the performance section and it's this one, the swirly one, the dynamic content link there. So once you're on the page you'll need to choose a fixture first of all. Then on the left if you open up the dynamic content menu you'll see a few examples that we supply. Um, you click on one of those and then to set it live you need to click on the dynamic content disabled button and that will change to dynamic content enabled. Now depending on the patch you load, the, uh, the shader code you set up, you'll get different options and it is in fact possible to make your own uh, dynamic content importing either from websites like ShaderToy or creating your own unique work from scratch. We do supply some templates for the software as you can see but any parameters you create in that patch will be available here. When you make them they'll be available in this overall uh, wrapper which will give you the slots for the parameters as well as color control. So let's just have a couple of other examples here. There we go, let's play with that one. And of course things like fire are much, much better. So the real benefit of this, as we mentioned, it's resolution independent. You can see down here you actually set the resolution, but it means you can change from show to show as your requirements change.